For these types of questions, you have to find the value of an underlying digit and write a value that's 10 times smaller. So let's think about what those directions mean. So it says find the value, and remember value is the amount a digit or number is actually worth. And you're going to find the, the value of the underlying digit, and a digit is just a number, 0 through 9, that's going to represent a value. But then you're going to write the value 10 times smaller. And 10 times smaller means to divide by 10. You can think about that because we've already practiced 10 times bigger or to increase 10 times. And when you multiply 10 times, you're increasing it or making it 10 times bigger. So going 10 times smaller is the opposite of 10 times bigger. So if we multiply to get 10 times bigger, to get 10 times smaller, we would divide. However, in the same way that we practiced before with making numbers 10 times bigger, we can use that same strategy to make things 10 times smaller. Let's look at some examples. So let's look at number one. So we're going to find the value of the underlying digit and then write the value that's 10 times smaller. So first off, the value of this underlying digit is going to be 40,000. Well, to make it 10 times smaller means divide by 10. So 40,000 divided by 10 would be your answer. However, we can do it without having to know how to divide. And to do that, we have to understand that the relationship between the place values is like this. As we move to the left, we are increasing 10 times. So every time we move a place to the left, it's getting 10 times bigger. So when we move to the left, if it's getting 10 times bigger, then when we move to the right, this way, it's getting 10 times smaller. And 10 times smaller means divided by 10. So when we go from here to here, we're dividing by 10. It's just the opposite. So if we go from 10 millions to 1 millions, we're dividing by 10. So instead of having to do 40,000 divided by 10, we can use place value and notice that the 4 is in the 10 thousands place. So if we want to divide it by 10 and make it smaller, we're just going to shift the whole number to the right. So I just need to move this 4 one place over. So instead of it being in the 10 thousands place, I just want it in the thousands place. So now the value has been made 10 times smaller from 40,000 to 4,000, just by shifting the digit from the 10 thousands place to the thousands place. So let's look at number three. Right now on number three, the three has a value of 300, but the directions say to write a value that's 10 times smaller than this one. So we could do 300 divided by 10. Or we could just realize that when we divide by 10, we're just shifting everything over one place value. So I need to move this 3 over one place to make it 10 times smaller. So instead of the 3 being in the hundreds place, the 3 is now going to be in the tens place. So 30 is 10 times smaller than 300. Okay? Let's look at number 10. So here we have um, the nines in the tens place, so the value is 90. We could do 90 divided by 10. That's easy. If you know 90 divided by 10 already is 9, then you can write the answer. However, if you're not good at dividing by 10, you can just realize that if you take this 9 and slide it to the right one place, you are going to be dividing by 10. All right, you try the rest of these problems, and if you still are having trouble, just re-watch the video. Good luck.